Uh, my name is David Wheeler, and I am the uh, former director of the ISSR. Uh, we have the brand new director of the ISSR, Tim Daly, with us down here in the purple shirt. So a round of applause for Tim. Uh, and of course, I'm uh, very soon to be the former Dean of Business here. Uh, this is my last day, and I couldn't have wished for a more auspicious uh, event than this, which brings together sustainability, business, not-for-profits, and so much more in the university. So uh, I am delighted uh, that this is my uh, swan song, if you like, from the university. I know we're going to have a lot of fun. We, we do have an absolutely action-packed day today. Uh, has anyone ever done speed dating? I guess you probably wouldn't admit it, even if you... Uh, one or two nodding sagely. Um, so, so this is a bit like speed dating, although it's called speed updating. Um, and, the, and the real speed dating will happen in the uh, coffee breaks and the lunch break um, during the day, where we invite you to absorb all of the amazing things you'll have heard about very speedily um, during uh, the morning. Uh, because we have uh, an amazing array of speakers, both internal and external to the university. We are particularly grateful to our external speakers coming, uh, in some cases, long distances. Um, but I know it's going to be a, an amazing morning, uh, full of uh, five, ten-minute presentations of incredible projects and incredible opportunities. Um, I was originally slotted to talk about the aims for the day. Um, the aims for the day are mostly to have fun, uh, and in the uh, continuation of the metaphor of speed dating, we want there to be uh, lots of marriages, uh, lots of births, uh, births of projects, uh, and I'm sure, given the shared values we all have, there'll never be any divorces or, or splits. All will be as generative. We'll have lots and lots of great projects and lots of great ideas. Uh, we have got a very interdisciplinary mix of people uh, within the university and outside the university from the local community, uh, from local government and from NGOs and so on. Uh, so there's no excuse other than to cook up lots of brilliant projects from today. That, that is uh, the main objective. So we, we're going to have all these provocations, all of these ideas, but then the work should happen in the uh, uh, sessions outside uh, where you gather people together and you uh, cook up opportunities for collaboration. ISSR has been a great success story, I'd say particularly since Paul Hardman arrived, um, but going back before then, uh, the work of uh, Victoria Hearth, Ash and Ashby getting up and running. Uh, we, we now have under our belt literally millions of, of pounds uh, worth of grants uh, from uh, uh, Norfolk to Nigeria and all points uh, in between East and West, um, and uh, particularly strong uh, in areas like sustainable transportation, where we've run some big grants, um, in health, uh, in imaging, and the psychology of, of uh, behavioural change. But I could mention so many other things that you will also hear a lot about this morning. But we have been very, very successful. And, and the model, I think, is, is uh, very powerful, because it is a network. ISSR is a network. Uh, it's not intended to be uh, a, a building somewhere that houses all the really smart sustainability types. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a, a distributed model uh, with sustainability researchers and teachers across the university and beyond, of course, in our partner organisations, uh, all working together to come together and deliver uh, fantastic projects. And that model appears to be working. Uh, so all credit to the management team and, and especially Paul Hardman for all of his amazing work behind the scenes. So, um, with no further ado, um, I'm going to get us kicked off. Uh, we are going to be brutally um, uh, firm on timings today. Uh, Tim is going to help me with that, uh, with a red folder which will be uh, raised uh, one minute out from every presentation. Uh, and that happens just before the lasso uh, goes and people are physically dragged <laughs> off. So you have been warned. Um, but I know that um, particularly our early presenters will role model uh, succinctness and brevity and brilliance. 
Uh, and so we're going to get off to a flying start. Bang on 10 after 10, look at that. Um, with some input from our very own research innovation team who will tell you how to get the best out of them and the best out of UK sustainability research funding options. So we have, uh, to join us now, Donald and Dan. So, Donald and Dan, over to you.